This is a 797 Classic Monster. So it is a popular bike. Um, it handles very well. It's aggressive. It's got aggressive brakes and clutch. You know, the, the, the <laughs> steering on them is, the steering lock is, is useless. But I'm not trying to put you off the well, bike. Well, Carol's got a useless steering lock <laughs> on the Street Triple. This is the closest bike you've got to, to Carol's Street Triple. It's probably making but a little bit less on power. The road, but it delivers, um, handles well. It, it's a Ducati at the end of the day, you know. Fabulous. You've got your little Ducati up here. Mm. It's a nice looking little bike, you know. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, quite enjoying it. So give him a wave. Hello. <laughs> that wasn't a wave. No way. <laughs> anyway, Carol, how's your Ducati? <laughs> it's lovely getting quite attached to it actually. So have you gelled with it over these uh, last I few would days? I so, yes, it's, um, it's, it's a different, uh, very different engine to the Street Triple, but, um, but yeah, it's great on these roads, I mean, quite nimble. And uh, got a nice low torque, it sort of just seems to tick along nicely up the hairpins and that sort of thing. The seat's comfortable, nice all day. Seating position's good, don't feel like I've got too much weight on my arms or anything. It's just nice and natural position mm -hmm. to be sat in. Mirrors are good, I can see you nice and clearly there in the back. And they don't vibrate? They don't vibrate, no, you get a little bit of vibration through the seat on a, a bit of, you know, certain revs you get a little bit of vibration through the seat but not all the time yeah. um, so that's fine so do you think it's it's an ideal bike for someone your size yeah your, definitely. yeah I'm you're five, five foot foot seven yeah um, and yeah it's uh, I can flat foot it so comfortable on it whenever I have to stop mm -hmm. um, so yeah the power's really not nice. intimidating either is it no, it's nice. it seems really natural um, doesn't seem too snappy or anything. The only thing, the brakes are a little bit snatchy. They uh, stop you a bit sudden, all of a sudden. But uh, but no, as far as rolling the power on, it's nice and smooth. Have yours got twin brakes in the front? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Brembo's at the front, and they are really sharp, really sharp. It's probably the, you know, sometimes you just you just braking with like one finger and you're like you know you're compressing the suspension down it's like cracky a bit much that is you know so that's a bit of a surprise but i'm getting used to that it's okay yeah but, um but yeah, but it, could, it, it probably could catch you out slightly, couldn't it? It could if you catch were, you out if you caught it. If you got wet like roads you, or gravel. Yeah, yeah or something. And you grab the brake. So yeah, it could catch that's, you out. that's probably your, your biggest criticism of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's not particularly a criticism because I mean, it's good to have good brakes and be able to stop. It just seems a little bit snatchy. But Adam did warn us of that before we got on it, so I'm well aware yeah. of it. So yeah. um, I think the main criticism would be I don't appear to have a gear indicator which I quite like um, I don't know why I should need to know that but sometimes it's just nice to have a gear indicator and perhaps a clock uh, on have the you got a fuel dash. gauge no fuel gauge no so it's very very basic very very simple bike uh, it's got no sort of uh, bells and whistles or anything on it. it's very straightforward no but that's the old ether ethos yeah, of, of, like of the that. monster isn't it like it's, it's an engine two wheels yeah. and and a pair of straight bars isn't it yeah. you know it's gonna be a mega tight right you've got no steering lock whatsoever <laughs> have you <laughs> no. Hell, no chance absolutely no chance well, i'll have to up. go around i think carol found the limitation of her machine oh, hang on here she is you back? <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> right, keep going.
Yeah, that's good. It's an absolutely fascinating place to ride a motorcycle here. Mm. Really is. Right, folks. Well, this is Carol's Giacchetti Monster hide from Easy Rider Tenerife. You've had it. Well, it'll be four days mm. higher. Yeah. I think it's a great looking bike. Mm. Simple bike, simple air cooled engine, basic motorcycling. How have you found the suspension? Lovely. Better than the Street Triple. Much more uh, comfortable over speed bumps. So not, not as firm as a Street Triple? No, definitely not as firm as a Street Triple. It's no. better. I think it's the same engine as the stick in the uh, in the scramblers. Yeah, and actually, I think um, I'd quite fancy go on scramble actually after that because I think uh, the scramblers got a more retro look about it, hasn't it? So yeah. So give give a, a few basic stats about it then. So the seat height is eight oh five, which I like because I can get both feet comfortably on the floor. Yeah. Um, BHP seventy four. Weight is one hundred and ninety three kilograms so i think that's wet isn't it so uh so, yeah, quite a light bike, bike. Yeah. yeah so it's v-twin yeah it's got a 16 and a half liter tank it's, it's fairly little, frugal as well yeah it'll do 53 mpg and yeah. goes about 180 miles on a tank full just pulls from the low revs very simple great simple fun bike for a reasonable yeah. price yeah i think yeah. you'd describe it as that really yeah definitely yeah yeah do you want to good. just sit on it and uh, let folks have a have a look what you look like on it you're five seven i think it suits you to be honest with you yeah nice and flat foot both sides all good yeah certainly on these little twisty roads just yeah to, don't want anything bigger yeah brilliant so thanks very much for watching highly recommended Easy Rider, Tenerife, in the link below. Mm, go and enjoy. Oh, blimey, you've got two, and I ain't got one yet. Blimey, she's got the pedal to the metal. He ain't around, guys. Oh, I can see ya. <laughs> it's worth coming all the way over here for, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. <laughs>